As you can see, I'm back here on Manchester's Canal Street with a little slight costume change because I'm meeting today two of the trustees from um, from Sparkle Weekend. So this should be this should be something good to actually find out where Sparkle is going and what's happening with it and things that are going on this year and also the future of Sparkle. I've got the pleasure of speaking to Erin Smith, who is one of the trustees for National Transgender Weekend. So, so tell me, so tell me, Erin, you know, what what is going to be happening with Sparkle this this uh, this year? Well, Sparkle is going to be bigger and better. Particularly, we're going to have the Music Awards, which is run by my fellow new trustee uh, Paulette Richards. She comes from a long history of uh, of the from the music industry. And so we've got some really exciting acts to be announced later in the year before the event itself um, that will really sort of uh, bring the whole uh, event to life, I think, much more than it has been before. And of course, it's, it's a successful event anyway. We had 12,000 people here uh, in Sackville Gardens last year, and I expect that we'll exceed that uh, number again this year. And so, so how how long have you how long have you been with uh, been with uh, National Transgender Weekend now? Well, I only joined the board in December, so I'm very much a new girl. But uh, I'm uh, I'm catching up quickly. And so, so the event the event has been something spectacular for a lot of years now. It's kind of it's kind of taken over as being and Manchester again being one of the main places that starts something. So, what would your words be to anybody out there that? wants to come to National Transgender Weekend Sparkle. Don't give it a second thought. You'll find if you're a, a new person at Sparkle, you will find a very, very will, willing, open welcome to anybody who, who identifies on the trans spectrum. So that's trans women, trans men, non-binary, just simply questioning. Come along, you will meet people who are just like you. And it's the biggest event of its kind in the world. So this is the place to be. And is, is it always going to be a free event? Uh, certainly, as far as I'm aware, it's going to be a free event. Um, one can never predict the future entirely, but yes, the principle is that we run as a charity. Um, and the primary aim is to, um, is to forward transgender rights and transgender issues. So I don't see us um, turning a buck anytime soon. Yeah. So and of course we're here at the Trans Memorial and <coughs> so can you tell me what does the Trans Memorial mean to you? For me it's it's very personal as it is for a lot of trans people. It represents because it's in the shape as you'll see of, of, of a butterfly it represents the transition that all trans people go through when they realize that their gender is not simply defined at birth. And it shows you how beautiful you can be once you've taken the courage and you've, you've, you've gone down your journey and, and you come through transition. It's also very personal to me because we gather around here every year at, uh, at Trans Day of uh, Remembrance on the 20th of November each year. And we read out the names of the people around the world that the trans community has lost through murder and violence during that previous 12 months. Now that tends to run now to about 300 names a year, which is a colossal, colossal figure. It's horrifying. And so here we stand in front of a, of a piece of art that marks their loss, marks our pain and suffering, and hopefully will galvanize us to fight that sort of stuff in the future. And, and uh, you said the 20th of November. Now, um, the 20th of November here, if anybody wishes to come, um, they have a huge marquee and things like that, and, and also very speakers and things like that. Can you tell us more about that event? Well, um, yes, there, there will be a large marquee, uh, as there previously, previously has been. November in Manchester isn't necessarily the kindest of months uh, when it comes to, to weather. Um, so people are warm and dry. 
There will be a number of speakers. We will again read out the names of the dead, as we always do. Um, and there will be, uh, I suspect, um, our usual choir there. And it will be, it will end in a, in a um, candlelit vigil, as it again it traditionally does, where we actually mark what is for our community a very solemn event. And so. Uh, it, it's only been very recently that the trans community itself have been have really been accepted into into society for a long time it was a case that they were ridiculed and things like that so what what does it feel like now for it to be lgbt and not just lgb yeah normal yeah normal mm. it's the way that it should be it's the way they always should have been but hey that's history yeah we're now getting to where we should be as a community standing shoulder to shoulder with the l's the g's and the b's and that's the way we're going to go forward and so but what what would your words be to any to any trans man or trans lady out there that is confused at the moment and afraid seek out advice seek out your local um, trans uh, organisers, most areas of the UK will have local groups of some description or other. They're all on the internet. It's so much easier than, than it was in my day. And, and just get in touch with some people who know, who have been through it, before will be able to give you you pointers will be able to signpost you to the sort of help that you need it's all there you just have to get off your seat and go find it so when it so when is when is sparkle taking place this year well sparkle um kicks off on the first of july with our new arts festival spark and that will run until the 7th and the sparkle weekend itself will be between the 7th and the 9th of july right, and and so sparkle is looking forward to being something amazing and we're all definitely looking forward to sparkle and can you just say a few words to all the people out there to come come to sparkle enjoy come enjoy it will be fantastic it will be bigger than it ever has been there'll be a really warm welcome from new people there'll be a warm welcome for people who've been umpteen times it's a fantastic once a year event that is only happens here in manchester and thank you very much and i look i look forward to seeing you over sparkle i do look yeah, forward to seeing yeah. you there thank you take care my lovely